I'm gonna give you the most detailed close-up look of this 2022 Ducati Street Fighter V4 SP that I possibly can. You guys already know this thing is 208 horsepower, 90 foot-pounds of torque, 390 pounds dry weight. Limited production, this one happens to be, as fate would have it, number 22. I'm putting the uh, the run-in miles or the break-in miles, uh, excuse me, the setup miles for our very lucky, uh, not lucky, but our very fortunate customer, Sean in Long Beach. He just picked this up from us out of Ducati Santa Barbara a few days ago, and we're delivering it for him today. So where do we begin? What do we love about this bike? I mean, it... It's obviously very similar to the Panigale V4 SP with this very sexy, very stealthy satin black paint with the red accents and the brushed aluminum gas tank. You guys can see that. Gorgeous, one of the best looking motorcycles that I can think of right now. Carbon fiber winglets up front with the Italian flag, Street Fighter V4 SP logo there. What I love about this bike, two things. One is the look, but the wheels These are the same wheels, of course, as the uh, Panigale V4 SP, carbon fiber. If you want to buy a set of these, um, I'll post the part numbers in the description below. I think if my memory is correct, they're about nine to $10,000 a set. I believe they're manufactured by B BST exclusively for Ducati. You'll find these also on the uh, Superleggera V4 and then of course the STM dry clutch this thing sounds awesome I'm gonna turn it on for you guys in a second um, what else do we love about it I mean look at this gorgeous what looks like a custom seat but that is stock this is a hundred percent stock folks Electronic steering stabilizer, Olin's electronic suspension. Beautiful bike, carbon fiber front fender. Look how huge those radiators are. Which is standard on the other uh, Street Fighter and Panigales. Billet aluminum. Adjustable rear sets by Rizoma. You see that there? Ducati by Rizoma. Carbon fiber heel guard. Carbon fiber open clutch cover. You can convert your standard Street Fighter and Panigale V4s to this dry clutch. There is a dry clutch kit. In fact, we have one in stock right now at the shop that we're going to be putting on a uh, 2018 Panigale V4S. What else can I show you? Just look at the quality Stylema R brake calipers by Brembo. Let me give you the seated, here's a rear view, and the rider point of view. It's pretty awesome. I didn't do a um, I didn't bring my, my GoPro to do an onboard thing because the setup miles and um, actually the the, the break-in miles require you to keep it under 6,000 RPM uh, for the first 600 miles. So, you know, I'm just going to slowly take it back to the shop after I'm done with the break-in miles. But this is the Rider POV. The dashboard, 
just like the Panigale V4 and the previous, uh, the standard Street Fighter V4s. You have your three maps, Street, Sport, and Race, with all of the lovely rider and track aids. And you can also adjust those levels there down on the bottom right in each map, as you can see there. Very user-friendly, one mile currently on this bike. Um, came straight here from the shop in Santa Monica. We'll put a few more. Why don't I uh, take it down a level? Check out those LED lights. Why don't I take it down a level so um, you guys can hear that dry clutch and idle exhaust sound. Let's do it. Wow, amazing. I made sure to keep that under 5K RPMs during the, uh, the break-in, but that's amazing. I'm gonna put the, uh, the part numbers to that dry clutch in the description. If anyone wants to order, we're happy to ship. Uh, local riders, we can install these for you. And uh, you know darn well that as soon as one of these comes in for some exhaust upgrades, I will capture that and share with you. So don't forget to subscribe to be notified let me know if you have any questions thank you so much and see you in the next one